Hello everybody, it's Christine. So it's time for a Color Rush Studio design team layout. And one of the few things I haven't packed yet is my dies and my big shots. So I'm thinking what I might do, <clears throat> and I also have, okay, let me, let me get myself organized. I have all these pictures, you guys. <laughs> I told you this is my daughter's birthday month and I was kind of going through and I have all these pictures. I used to get her pictures made. She was 10 months old here, you guys. It's just not the cutest. Anyway, I used to get her picture made every month. So I have all these pictures. And I thought to myself, could I play off of this like circle? Because then there's also like these polka dots. And then technically there's these ones here. I don't know if I'm gonna do these ones and these ones though. I may not use the side just yet, but there's these polka dots here. And of course there's this pretty little plaid. Where is it y'all? There's a plaid in here somewhere. It's on the back side of the, oh, I used it already. Oops. Well, 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 well. Your girl's gonna have to think on that one. But anyways, my thought was, what if I play off of this circle situation uh, with this Be The Rainbow, but then maybe one of them, I use the square with the circle or something over her little face. I don't know. I haven't, you know, got my whole plan figured out. And then use dies here. And maybe I'll make like a little thing down the middle over the top, just play off of the whole circle thing. It's kind of what I'm thinking, you guys. So, I feel like I'm gonna have to use this plaid like this, but then I don't know if I love that because it's kind of, I'm not certain. But then I only have the yellow. The yellow's pretty though. I do like a diagonal stripe. That might work really cute. And then I'll use circles on top of circles is maybe what I'll do here. So, that's where I'm starting. So let me do this. I'm gonna take, cause it's gonna be the same little picture repeated is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then this one might be the one that goes inside. I need to kind of play with this just a minute. So let me, um, let me do that and I'll be back on in just a second. Maybe once I've kind of cut some circles out of these pictures and I, y'all, I have a whole set of these. So there's no harm in me cutting all up. <laughs> so I'll do that and I'll be back on in just a second. Okay, you guys. So what I've done is I've used my dies and I've cut the circles and I did go ahead and use the second sheet of this to create my little photo mats. I think this is so freaking cute, you guys. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I'm sick. Um, I'm kind of imagining it like this. Now what I think I'm gonna do, so I have packed, your girl packed all her circle punches. So that was unwise, except for this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut a few more of these little guys. I'm gonna use this along in the yellow so I can kind of fill this in. And the other thing I might do, cause I have this second sheet here, I don't know yet. I don't know that I'm gonna do this, but I could pop out because these are basically just a hair under one inch. They're basically one inch. I might pop some of these to give dimension, but I'm not certain yet cause I wanna do the yellow ones and see how that kind of looks. Um, I'm just, I'm not lying y'all. I think this is so cute. The other thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this purple frazzle because she's wearing purple. And I think I'm going to, I haven't glued this down yet because I think what I'm gonna do is actually border my little polka dot with this because how friggin' cute is that gonna be? How friggin' cute is that gonna be, you guys? I think it'll go all the way around because I think it's 36 inches. Oh no, let me think just a minute. 36 is not four sides. <laughs> Y'all, I got string going everywhere. If I do it, I don't know that, let me see, maybe it's not 36, maybe it's 48, let me see. Oh, it's just enough, just enough. So, I might can, run, I might can wrinkle this just a little bit. Well, now we know it's 48 inches long. I thought it was 36, but okay. So, I haven't glued these down either. I think I'll go and glue these down before I do the purple stuff. That way I don't lose track of where they are, so. I kind of like this. Now I thought about, you guys, these can be colored with like acrylic markers and stuff. And I thought about doing it, but I kind of like the wood veneer here. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, so give me just a second, I'll be back on. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I had, if you remember, I had cut down that first paper by half inch, I think it was. So I've got my little purple frazzle, my purple gingham frazzle, and I'm gonna go around the edges here and I'm just using a little bit of ATG I thought to use a Nouveau glue initially, and then I decided against it in case I needed to adjust it, which was a really good decision because I'm going to need to adjust it. <laughs> so I've gone around. I have plenty of frazzle. That's not the issue. Um, I'm going to get my frazzle kind of all attached here, and then I'm going to flip it over and lay it on top of my little yellow diagonal, 
And guess what? It's too big. You're not gonna be able to see the yellow diagonal if I have that size. So no problem. I'll just yank these off real quick and I will trim off another half inch uh, from, I think I took the bottom and the side. I think I looked at it and I go, well, I've already glued down my circles toward the top there. So I'm gonna take off the bottom a half inch and then one of the sides, um, I'm gonna grab a half inch. Now there's obviously ATG, so it's stuck, but that's okay. It was not a big deal at all. This is a no problem layout right here. And honestly, it turned out so stinking cute. I'm not even sad about it. <laughs> so anyways, I've done that. Now I'm gonna add my ATG back on here <clears throat> and I'm gonna take my frazzles and lay them back down again. And that actually worked out real nice. And actually gave me a little bit of overlap on the corners too. So I think now basically my polka dot paper is 11 inches is basically where I'm at at this point. So I'm gonna glue these down. I'm kind of letting the little frazzly piece be on the outside. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm fighting this cold. I made my video for my other layout just a little bit ago. And so now I'm a week ahead, thank goodness, because I was kind of bumping up against my deadlines there. <laughs> anyway, now I'm gonna use my ATG and I'm just gonna kind of attach everything and lay it down there. And look at that, how cute is that with a little frazzle? Now here I'm gonna take my little punch and I punch this out and I it falls over face up and I go, well, oh, wait a minute, there's little flowers. I can put some of these little flowers on here. So I flip it over and I look to see which ones have maybe some little flowers. Unfortunately, there really wasn't a lot that I hadn't already kind of cut into, um, but there was a little heart I think there in there. I didn't really wanna mess the other one up or take, um, Oh, wait a minute, I say that. I think I'd already, I used that as the back of the layout, didn't I? Um, I don't know that I had any more scraps of this yellow uh, stripe here. So I just found a few little flowers. So I did use those though. I thought that looked really cute. It's a nice little uh, contrast. And then we'll go through and make a few more little diagonal striped yellow uh, spots. And I'm just gonna kind of, you know, sprinkle these around a little bit, kind of give myself a little bit of visual interest. Um, and then in a second, let's see, I do like a couple more. I'm just kind of looking for a spot that looks like, you know, it's kind of cascading down or whatever. <clears throat> Sorry. And then I'm going to, I'm trying to make them go in the same direction too. I didn't really want them to look haphazard and, and crooked and sideways and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to keep the stripes going the same direction as the background paper. I did the same thing also with the photo mats. I was actually really particular. I kind of lined them up with the background and then glued the photos and stuff down. So they should all look like they're going the same direction. It's just to kind of help your eyeball. Now there was this one flower here that's kind of this orangey color that I poked out or punched out rather, but that just wasn't going to work. There was literally no other, at least I didn't see any yellow or orange on my paper anywhere. So I go, no, that's not going to work. So he gets put back in my little uh, jar of future to be used <laughs> items. Um, so I ended up using like a pink and I don't know, I think a yellow or something. But then I pull out the little crocheted flowers and I thought those looked really cute. I kind of offset them from the circles. I'll use my Nuvo glue and glue those down if I haven't already. Um, I might've gone off camera. And then I decided to put Brookie's name down at the bottom down there. So it's gonna be Brooke. I'm gonna have to scooch over the one flower. Thankfully it hadn't quite stuck quite yet. So I'll, I'll pull that up and just scooch it over to the left, just a hair so I can fit her full name on there. And I think that looks really cute. I've also pulled out these little purple half pearls. Now that's from my stash. Um, and I'm gonna end up taking some time here in just a moment. It takes me a little too long, if I'm honest. <laughs> They're kind of old, y'all. Some of my stuff is so old. And the little glue dot pieces that are on the back side of those little half pearls, they try to come off. And also I'm clumsy. And so I try to use my tweezers and they fling everywhere. So yeah, it takes me just a second, but I'm gonna just put a whole bunch of these little half pearls on here. Um, I, I've told you guys I'm packing and all that stuff, so I feel, I feel a little bit, I hate to use the word handicap because that's just silly. I have plenty of stuff to work with, but I don't have like tons of, I don't have my inks. I don't have my Nuvo drops. You know, there's different little things like that that I might try to use normally, but I don't have those. So I kind of am looking at this as like a fun challenge though, to challenge myself kind of back to my, the OG days, right? When you didn't have all these fun tools and stuff, you had to kind of use what you had. Maybe it was stickers, maybe it was just paper, maybe just cardstock for that matter. And, um, and so I'm kind of liking it. So anyway, I just take my little purple half pearls. I'm going to kind of just sprinkle those around to give a little bit of visual interest. And you know what I should have probably done? I hadn't done it. And I might come back in there and do it as right 10 months somewhere because <laughs> that's how old she was. Um, 
I don't think I'll pull out another font or anything to put 10 months above her name. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. But it takes me just a second, and I'm going to put all these little pearls on here. I did the purple because of the little frazzle, right? Because I have the little purple frazzle, and I think that just brings that little frazzle color back into the layout. And that is basically, once I figure out how to get these stuck down here, y'all see me struggling with that? And this is double speed, y'all. This is double speed. <laughs> And I'm still struggling with these darn pearls. And frankly, I'm looking at the layout right now. I'm sitting down, and I happen to notice one of them is flipped upside down even as we speak. So I'll have to fix that one. I don't know. I think I've got them down. They get stuck under my fingernails and everything else. But, um, yeah. But I still think it turns out really cute. I was kind of happy with this, you guys. Having not had really a good plan coming in, I was like, okay, circles. What can you do with circles? I will tell you, though, I have to... I, I'm, I'm thinking... This little wood veneer with the acrylic inserts is one of my favorite embellishments I've seen in a really long time. I think that is so stinking cute. It's unique. I love it. You guys, you got to go to the shop and grab it. I'm not trying to be all that. I just really do think it's adorable. Um, so yeah, you got to go grab that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you do check out the Facebook group and the website. You get Christine 10. You get a 10% off your order. So go grab this little wood veneer with these acrylic pieces, you guys. They're so freaking cute. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.